to remove the instrument cluster of the new e-glass. Start on the driver's side. Switch on the ignition and move the steering wheel downward all the way to the back. This way you create space to work. For the next steps, you'll need the special tool. You can order the hooks with the number on your screen. Now use these hooks to remove the air vent on the driver's side above the light switch. We'll show you more clearly using a removed vent. Insert the hooks on both sides over the second slat of the air vent. The small hole behind the slat serves as a grasp point for the hook. Separate the two plug connectors and you can remove the air vent. In order to remove the middle air vents, as well as the air vent on the passenger side, first pull the two fixing clips downward in the glove compartment. The hooks work well for this. With the air vent here, use the hooks in just the same way as on the driver's side. However, don't pull this out all the way. Back to the driver's side. Now insert the hooks over the third slat of the middle air vent. We show you more clearly using a vent we've already removed. Bring the hooks over the third slat and then pull the plastic locking tabs backwards. But before you can remove the trim strip, separate the three plug connectors. The screen of the instrument cluster is next. Here caution is required because it's fastened with three clips which can easily break off. Therefore, proceed carefully with your assembly wedge. Afterwards, the removal is plain sailing. Once the screen is off, remove the rotary dimmer switch and then the four screws of the instrument cluster. Here again the position of the four screws in detail. The screws are secured and won't fall out. Before you tilt the instrument cluster, place a soft cloth under it so as not to scratch the display. Now separate a plug connector behind the instrument cluster and the removal is complete. The installation occurs in the reverse order.